Hi guys, this is Mrs. Cheryl. I miss you so much and I miss teaching art because it's a big part of my life. The good thing about teaching art and about doing art is that we can do it anywhere and we can do it with anything. Uh, April 22nd was Earth Day. It was a day that we were supposed to look around and see the beauty and creative world around us. There's an artist that I like named Andy Goldsworthy. He's from England, and he makes art from objects he finds in nature. And I'm going to show you a video of some of his creations.
Wasn't that awesome? I love his work. He is so creative. Did you see leaves and rocks and ice and wood? And I even saw bones. These are things that he finds on the earth and he puts them together in a way that makes them aesthetically pleasing. That means they look good to the eye and it makes a work of art. This is a picture of Andy uh, Goldsworthy and this is him making a sculpture that he has hanging from trees. So you see he's making this out of pieces of wood. Now these I'm gonna show you are made by students just about your age. Now this student took some leaves and formed it in the shape of a heart. This student found some rocks and some sticks and some moss. Now you might not have these items, but you have other things around your house that you can find outdoors. These two young men have started a spiral. They started with a center and then they took leaves and went around and around and around in a circle. Here we have some pine cones on some pine straw. Very simple, but very creative. Here's another. I think those are the, the tops of acorns in the center. There we have a, a young man that is just taking sticks and getting them to stand up between two trees. That's very creative. Now this student laid down on the ground and had someone to form sticks around his body. And then when he got up, he put leaves, he filled in his body with leaves and he has a pine cone for his mouth. And from here, I can't see what he used for his eyes and his nose, but I think he used some sprigs of pine straw for his hair. This is very creative. Here's another grouping of pine cones. See, it just takes something simple and you arrange it in some order. Now, this little girl, she was in kindergarten. Isn't this awesome? She did a picture of herself. She's got flowers in her hair and she's got uh, a skirt. She made her dress or her skirt out of pine straw. Now, I'm going to show you one of my favorites by Andy Goldsworthy. I love this one because I don't know how in the world he got the, those rocks to balance like that. It would be easy to balance the ones on the bottom and the ones on the top, but that one in the center that is a round circle, I can't imagine how in the world he got them to stack like that. But I know I've seen a lot, a lot of pictures of where people do this. So I want you to try, I want you to go outside and find some objects and I want you to try to do a work of art like Andy Goldsworthy from nature. And when you get, when you get finished, if you can ask your parents to help you take a picture. Some of you know how to work the camera just fine. You could take your own and I want you to send it to me at this address, this email, Glenda Cheryl at richmond.k12.nc.us. That's my school email so that I can see your pictures. And I'm going to share them with, with Mrs. Surgeon and with all the art, uh, other teachers, all my art teachers from other schools. I can't wait to see what you guys do. I want everybody to see how talented my students are at West Rockingham Elementary School. So this is a good time for you to show off. I can't wait to see your pictures. Again, I miss you and I love you. Y'all be safe. Bye-bye.